Good morning, Martin Status. We went to Lowe's early this morning so we could get our two by eight so we could get the next phase of the outdoor kitchen started. Let's get to it. So we want a six inch slab. So I'm gonna mark six inches on these two by eight so I know where to put the sand and it'll kind of give me a nice base level line once we get everything laid out. Neat high by the 4th of July. Woohoo! With all the rain we got and a lot of the little seeds like that might have rotted. 
It's like the carrots, the turnips, and I might have to get down there and push and you might have to screw. Yeah. If you want to do that, I'll try pushing it in. Okay, go for it. You're not on the screw straight. Watch your hand. Yeah, right on the outside corner. I like it.
got too much sand in here, so I want to take some of it out. So the next stage of the outdoor kitchen is going to be getting some cattle panel or some kind of metal and putting it down as a mat so when the concrete comes in that'll be in the middle of it and that'll help bind it all together so when the slab does float it'll all stay together and it shouldn't crack. That's the whole theory behind that. So until then the outdoor kitchen is on hold. We've got to figure out when we can get the concrete here and get it all spread and leveled out. That'll be the next video. We hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you liked it, share it. It really helps the channel grow. We want to thank you for that. The channel's been growing awesome lately because of you guys. And don't forget to go check us out on Instagram and Facebook. We're posting over there daily too. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.